Chang here with a long overdue review on a holster for the P365. I say long overdue as I originally when I purchased this holster I was looking to have a review done within a couple of weeks and now it's been over a year. Um, so way back in the day, some of you may know I carried a Glock 43 uh, as a daily carry. And when they introduced the P365, I fell in love with the trigger reset and the fact that I could get a whole lot more ammo in there. We're just showing you here that the gun is actually clear. There is no ammo inside the gun. And uh, I ended up buying a P365, you know, found a holster for it. I bought the second one that was at the store uh, where I, I used to teach. And, oh, sorry, my dog's distracting me. Um, and carried that around for a while, a couple different brands of in the waistband holster. And ended up purchasing a TLR6, which is this flashlight laser unit up front here. Was gonna do a review on that, I still might. Um, they, are, they do have limited applications uh, because there's a switch here, you have to hit this and so on and so forth, but that'll save that for another day. But once I did that, holster, selection became an issue now this was over a year ago so um it's the the situation's changed a little bit where you can find more holster manufacturers that make p365 holsters that will accommodate the tlr6 but at that point in time i had to do a lot of google digging and i came up on this uh manufacturer it's gunners custom holsters um and they made a kydex holster for uh, the P365 with the TLR6. So I am a big fan of Kydex holsters. This is the Kydex in the waistband holster. Um, so a couple things about the construction. Uh, Kydex is Kydex is Kydex, right? So you, you bend it, you form it, you bake it, you heat it, you do whatever. One of the things that sets good Kydex holsters apart from others is how they finish these seams. This, these seams are polished. They're very, very smooth. It's folded around the bottom a little bit here <clears throat> so that you're not going to feel chafing points when you're, when you're wearing these. I'm not a super skinny guy, so um, flesh presses up against this. I know you don't need that mental image, but this stuff, wearing it throughout the day, this can get really, really irritating if it's a poorly made holster. The other thing that sets this apart is um, the hardware. I've worn this holster almost every day for over a year, and I say almost every day, and just thinking back here, I don't think a day has gone by where I haven't worn this holster at some point, and that includes all weather conditions, hot, sweat, um, cold, and if you notice here, none of this hardware has any rust on it. You see that? A lot of the inside the waistband holsters that I buy and test, these nuts right here, they end up rusting within a couple of weeks of wear, and this is over a year. I'm not chasing this with any anti-rust or anything like that. It's every once in a while when I clean the gun, I'm just wiping the holster down, making sure I get all the lint and maybe some of the, the salts and stuff off of it. Um, you have a bunch of different clip options. They, uh, he has the belt loop clips, and I prefer this type of overhook that goes over top of your belt and then hooks underneath. This is also tuckable. Um, these screws do loosen up every once in a while. They are meant for you to be able to adjust cant as you would like in terms of how you wear. The other thing I want you to notice too is just a small kind of extra touch is how this is flared a little bit. A lot of uh, Kydex holsters, this cut right here is straight and if you are doing a lot of drills, uh, especially if you're in a class, going in and out of holster, especially going back in without that flare there becomes pretty difficult or it gets a little annoying to actually get the gun lined up and dropped back into the holster. Now, uh, holster retention. Real positive click, all right, and that gun's really not coming out. All right, uh, really, really big fan. Got a good positive opening here to allow that index finger to come along the side and the middle finger to go ahead and establish that grip. Remember, we always teach that your grip on the firearm starts inside the holster. So if you've got a holster that interferes with your ability to grip with this top finger, you're going to have issues pulling the gun out, establishing your grip and getting your shots on target. My only complaint for this, and this is just me, because I run a left-handed gun as a right-handed shooter um, and I'll have another video as to why I do that but 
the magazine release area is kind of exposed. So every once in a while, I will accidentally hit that mag release depending on how I'm sitting. Some other manufacturers, they actually have that piece covered so you don't accidentally hit an ambi mag release. Um, but other than that, I'm a big fan of this holster. So that's pretty much it. Wanted to tell you guys about this holster. Oh, one last thing. The reason why I'm such a big fan of this holster is it's the only holster that I've been able to fall asleep in and be comfortable with while I'm sleeping. All right, now you may not have the opportunity or the need to fall asleep with your concealed carry gun on, um, <clears throat> but I have actually slept overnight, naps, you name it, and I haven't woken up with hot spots or any sort of abrasions or anything like that from, from the holster. So this definitely is one of those holsters that I say it is comfortable enough to sleep in. Um, not saying that you should do it, not saying that you want to do it, but if the need arises, it's not going to be annoying. So that's actually it here. I would rec highly recommend purchasing from these folks. Um, it is a veteran-owned company. I'm going to put a link to their website in the description and to their Facebook page. Um, that's it. So hopefully this helps you if you're looking for a holster for 365 with the TLR6 or any other holster for that matter. I would highly recommend taking a look at Gunner's, Gunner's Custom Holsters. All right. That being said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and check out the other videos on the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you could, and go ahead and click that bell over there to the right so that you're notified of any videos that we put up online. Thank you all. Be safe, and we'll see you out on the range.